Well, that was an entertaining game, Jayhawks fans. If you were watching this on ESPN, it just ended final score. Kansas pulls out somewhat of a nail biter, 67 64 over Oklahoma in a game where their leading scorer, Ochai Abaji, was not his typical self. Abaji got injured in the first half. He was diving for a loose ball and his dove over the uh, announcers or the referee's table and his hand. Uh, contact with the possession arrow and it was his non-shooting hand he was having an issue um, flexing it back and forth so he came back out with it wrapped and initially was not shooting very well but when it came down to crunch time and the Jayhawks needed him to perform he made two threes and uh, I think saved the saved the game for the Jayhawks you can see the scoring here Jalen Wilson leading the way with 16 points Christian Brown with 15 points and those two big free throws at the end of the game to give the Jayhawks the three-point lead, which they didn't relinquish, and thus led to the final score. You can see Abaji here with 10 points on four of 11 shooting. His shot just didn't look right <clears throat> after that injury, so I will keep my eyes open and see what I can find out uh, as far as that goes. Romy Martin played, but as you can see here, the game just ended, so the minutes isn't available. But uh, when I was watching the game, Remy Remy had one good shot that went in, and that's obvious because he only scored two points. Uh, he looked good. He looked quick. Um, I just wonder if maybe he was on a little bit of a pitch count and Bill Self wanted to sort of ease him back into things. Uh, Juan Harris uh, did an amazing job. We'd like to see. I'd like to see him shoot more. Uh, I like to see him shoot more in rhythm. Um, it, uh, some of his shots seem like he rushed him tonight. And as you can see, he only went three for 10, one for two from three point range, which isn't bad if you're shooting 50% from three. I'm all right with that. The thing that the Jayhawks did not get, and you got to credit the scouting report of Oklahoma, is Kansas shot six free throws tonight. And I told you in a previous video, two things Kansas is going to have to do. They're going to have to win the rebound in order to win a national championship. In my opinion, they're going to have to win the rebounding battle and they're going to have to make it to the free throw line. Kansas shot well from three point range, 44%, 46% from the floor, 83% from the free throw line. The only player who missed a free throw was Mitch Lightfoot. And let me tell you what, Mitch Lightfoot, nine points, but he had some sort of NBA esque type dunks where he just, you know, took off from, the middle of the plate and flushed it, middle of the paint and just flushed it one-handed. Uh, so if you missed the game, you missed a couple really great dunks by him. The Groves brothers, I thought that name sounded familiar when I did my preview video for this. These are the guys that used to play uh, Eastern Washington last year. They were the guys that, the brothers that I think combined to score, I want to say like 38 or 48 points and Kansas still was able to, uh, beat Eastern Washington in the tournament. But, uh, you know, Tanner Groves had eight, and um, you know, his brother had went two. So 10 points between the two of them. Uh, Kansas gets out of this game, I think, lucky to have a win. You can see Oklahoma was at the free throw line much more, but didn't take advantage of it. 18 uh, free throws for Oklahoma. They shot three times as many free throws as Kansas. And the rebounding battle, I mentioned that, you know, the two things I think Kansas has to do, win the rebounding battle and, and make it to the free throw line. They run the, won the rebounding battle by one rebound and, as I said, did not make it to the line that much. But Oklahoma killed themselves with the three-point shooting. They had a stretch there where it seemed like they, they hit, I think they hit all four of them, like, you know, bam, bam, almost in, in succession to start the second half. And that's when they kind of took the lead back from Kansas. But... Kansas just stayed true to it. Um, they mentioned that Bill Self in one of the timeouts said, you need to quit being selfish and setting up your shots and go get rebounds and, you know, score some points. So it was good to see the Jayhawks playing a little more uh, team basketball after that. So the next step for the Jayhawks, if I can get this to not do that, uh, Kansas – I believe has Kansas state. And I want to say, I think that that is on the road. Yes, it is on the road. So they'll be going to Brambridge on January 22nd at 4 PM. So I will give you a preview later in the week, but Kansas 
pulls out a 67-64 win over the Oklahoma Sooners. And with that, uh, Jayhawk fans, take it easy. Hope you're having a good one. And uh, as always, remember, rock chuck. Later.